Shai, of course, is best known for his roles in television shows such as Soul City, Generations, Zero Tolerance, and Bupilo Kisimpero. He was nominated for a 2014 SAFDA in the category of Best Supporting Actor for his role in Scheme Sum, and then again in 2018 for his portrayal of Jacob Muloi in Seven Dilan. Joining us now to share her memories uh, is uh, Shai's Soul City co-star, Mam Lillian Dube. You might remember her as Sister Bettina in that show. Uh, she joins us now via our video link. And May, it's great to see you, uh, albeit at these trying times. Thank you so much for uh, making time to speak to us. And I must say, as I was reading that <laughs> and thinking of your character, Sister Bettina, I have so many memories that are flashing to my mind. I can only imagine the many thoughts running through your mind at this moment. Yeah, I'm so sad in Dumanaka, especially because I used to work with uh, Patrick a lot, especially on Soul City. Mm -hmm. He was very professional, a very brilliant actor, and I've been to his house for lunch, and I had a time of my life. What saddens me most, as you know, I belong to South African Anxiety and Depression Group. When someone dies by suicide, it really upsets me because I've been there. It's just part by the mercy of God. So I really don't know what happened. I am sad that his life had to end this way. Yeah. Where were you when you learned of his passing? I was at an audition at Quizzical Pictures. Um, a friend of mine, Nandini Mbe, was the first one to tell me, and I was hoping against hope that it's not true. So I saw it on social media. You know, I am devastated. Yeah, yeah. And I feel very sorry for his wife and children. Absolutely. You know, out of respect for the family, we're going to try to remember him for the many roles that he's been able to gift us, quite frankly, and his activism, the family asking us specifically to perhaps steer clear until they speak about uh, the cause of death for now. But, I mean, as you've mentioned, you've had many interactions with him, and at this time, do you have any of those that stand out um, as we reflect on, really, the illustrious career that this man has been able to live? Yes, especially Soul City. Yeah. And then I did Gog Helen with him. Patrick was very funny, and the respect he used to give me, in fact, it was mutual. Always saying I was Lillian, never calling me anything else. I'm sure I'm two years older than him because he died at 74, I'm 76. But we really, and we did talks together, and the best, best, best part he did was on Soul City where he was an abusive husband, and he told me everything about where that came from. So that is why today I am hating because the things that happened in our youth, they, 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 they sort of follow us and mess up our life until the end unless you get a, a help. I mean, Patrick tried to help other people, but the force of gravity just dragged him down. And yesterday I slept at two just praying for his soul because I know if that is true that he killed himself, when you do that, you are in a bottomless dark pit. You are no longer yourself. So I, I really wish we could give one another love. Whatever Nanganaka, I never say hi. I always say, how are you, Pelagwang Wanaka, so that we can interact and help where we can. We need one another. Now, because of COVID, we are no longer visiting one another. You didn't know how a person was hating because he must have been hurting. Mm. It does, I guess, also give us an opportunity to speak about whether or not, as actors, there are spaces for you to actually allow your true self to unravel. I mean, you know, the irony of the profession is that you guys spend an awful amount of time being honest in other people's shoes, and perhaps that comes at a cost of not being able to share your own genuine struggles with people who, who need to hear it. Exactly. You are so right, my child. I always tell people that my sanity comes from me being an actress, taking on other people's problems and not facing mine. In my case, I'm a firm believer of support groups. As you know, I'm a cancer survivor. I've got a, a cancer a survivor group where we pour out our heart our, about our problems and we are being supported. Unfortunately, I find men not able 
to, to talk. Mm. And also, being an actor, you know, sometimes you forget your own self. You take a role and take it so seriously that you forget who you are. And when you lose that job, you lose yourself as well. What we've also been able to learn of is just how much of the activism Obama Patrick Shah was able to do both on and off set. I mean, you know, we remember, for instance, the fight that they had as uh, part of the cast of Generations. What is really coming across is this was an individual who was also able to vouch for people who are like him outside of just, you know, vouching for himself. So true, Wanaka, wherever he was, he was educating. He even had a group called Kuluman Daughter, yeah. where he was counseling other women. And I can say safely that I'm speaking about this because I heard it from him, that he's, when he was growing up, I'm not going to go into details, that he was a victim of abuse. Therefore, he thought that was a way of life. So for a long time, he had problems with his anger. Mm. So I think he never healed from that. Yeah. Mm. Mm. But it really upsets me that he couldn't talk to anyone to say, this is what I'm going through. Right, right. And I've been avoiding the, the elephant in the room, which is the last that's going doing rounds I'm, I'm asking myself was this a prank or was it for real because when she says on my tombstone it hurts me because how the hell did he know he was going to die yeah I don't know I don't know what to think of it whether it was true he was that angry or I don't know but I can tell you diabetic people I don't know if he was Sometimes you lose it when your sugar is low and you behave in a very, very, very strange way because you are not in control of your life. So I don't know whether he was that angry or it was a joke. I don't know, but it breaks my heart. I wish I could have reached for him to say, but hello, it's okay, whatever you are going through, where there's life, there's hope. Yeah. So for one to kill themselves, it's a state of hopelessness. Mm -hmm. uh, and to and we, okay. Leo, please go ahead. No, I was saying we've lost a true legend. He was very good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Kusheng, Kusheng, I used to admire him uh, on Mopilo, Kissing Pioko, Listen Taulele. Wow, wow, wow. Really, I, I learned so much from Patrick. Sure. And I guess there's many things to take from this moment, right? Even in, in the midst of the many questions that we all still have, there are lessons that are weaved into this experience. And, and one of those, of course, is to perhaps create a culture of speaking when there are issues outside of just, you know, being able to celebrate people for the work that they do on air. Because, mm -hmm. you know, ironically, this is probably an individual who spent some time in the company of people but still felt very alone. My sweetheart, I know with depression, you are lonely in a crowd. Yeah. So I have, I've gone through three depressions, and I remember acting as a depressed uh, sister in Soul City, which I won an award for because they didn't have to uh, direct me. Depression is the worst, and unfortunately, us as black people, all we know is I, uh, you've got to reach out to people with a depression. Because you usually say, hey, pull yourself together when there's no pulling yourself together because there's no you in the first place. So people still don't understand depression. Sure. All right. There's plenty, of course, to try to digest, and I'm doing that as I speak to you. But that's the time we have. Thank you so much for uh, making time to speak to us at a difficult moment for yourself, without a doubt. Really do appreciate it. Mam Lillian Dube, of course, a legendary actress in her own right, who's done some brilliant work. And I guess um, helping us have the conversation that was inevitable. You know, the family has asked, of course, for us to be, I guess, understanding of the situation that they find themselves in by not necessarily speaking about this aspect of Patrick Shai's passing. Um, but, of course, it's very difficult to try and dictate how people should 
make sense of this moment. And Mam Lilian Dube has done exactly that in her own way. Once again, thanks very much indeed for your time.